Hey, Advanced Math. Time to change directions. We um, we did variable expressions and variable equations in the sixth grade part of our year. And we're going to switch to doing variable expressions and equations in the seventh grade part of our year now. And we're going to start by simplifying expressions in a few ways. Today we're going to use the commutative property and combining like terms. So go ahead and write this as your next title. Unpause when you're ready, and on we go. All right, a few things to remind you real fast. Um, expressions are things like this. Uh, when I look at this, I can't figure out what the unknown value is. I can just evaluate. I say, you know, if x equals, you know, 3, you can figure out what that is. Or if x equals, you know, negative 10, you can figure it out. But you can't look at an expression and figure the variable out. An equation has an equal sign. That's an equation, and there you could figure out what the variable was. So expression, equation. Um, and the other thing, a commutative property of addition says if I want to add things up, it does not matter what order I add them in. I can do it. I can do 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2. When I add, changing the order won't change the sum. That's the commutative property. Uh, before I get started, a few things you're going to see me use today. I'm going to use some visuals. I'm going to use three different size blocks. One is a one by one block, so I'm going to use that. One times one is one. The area of this block is base times height is one. I'm going to use a block that is one high, but x, like some unknown value, long. So those are one by x, which is x blocks. And then I'm going to use some bigger blocks that are x tall and x wide, so their area is x squared. So I'm going to use, this is going to be a 1, this is going to be an x, and this is going to be an x squared, and that's where those titles come from. So if you need to look that over real quick to see why I'm going to call those that, you can. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simplify this expression. Got lots of numbers and got lots of variables in it. Simplify just means um, put like terms together. So I'm going to do this in a few steps. So the first thing I'm going to do is when you see variable expressions, never subtract anymore. So the first thing I'm going to do is change that to a new expression with add the opposite. So I'm going to take, when I get to that step, I'm going to be careful. So I'm not going to change anything else. Negative 2x plus 5 plus 3x, and when I get to a subtraction, instead of minus 2, I'm going to add the opposite and keep everything else the same. Okay, so that's my first step. I'm going to take that expression and add the opposite. Now I'm going to show you this expression. I'm going to make the this with those blocks I just showed you. Ready? So here are my blocks. They look like this. So I've got x squared, x, and 1, and I've also got negative ones. They're all in red, but they're the same size. So I need negative 2x. So I'm going to do, these are x and negative x, so I need negative 2x, two, 2 negative x's, plus I think 5 was next. 3, 4, 5, plus 3x, plus negative 2. So plus 3x, plus negative 2, plus 1. So this is just a visual way to show you the same problem. So these are blocks that just kind of show you x, 5, negative, plus 3x, negative 2, and 1. So the next thing I'm going to do is when I look at my visual, I want to put the things that go together together. I'd really like to move the, these ones over with the other ones and these x's over with the other x's. So I'd really like to rearrange it kind of like this, which is fine. I'm just adding. So what I really did there was use the commutative property. I put the x's together and I put the numbers together. So step two here is going to be commutative property. So what I did is I put the two x terms together, negative 2x plus 3x. Those were negative 2x plus 3x. And then I put all the numbers together, plus 5, 
plus negative 2 plus 1. If you need to pause and go back and look, make sure you understand what I changed here and why I changed it here. I put, we call these like terms. These are like terms, the x's, and these are like terms, the numbers. And now I'm just going to add the like terms together. Like if I go to my visual, you know, these make a zero pair, and these make a zero pair. So if I kind of get rid of those zeros, I'm left with just one x from this, negative 2x plus 3x, leaving me with just like one x. And I've also got two zero pairs here, and I would be left with four after the zero pairs. So five plus negative two is three, plus one is four. And so I have a much simpler expression now. I can take this whole expression, commutative property, combine like terms, and I end up with just x plus four. Much simpler version of these are this is the same expression. Any x I choose here, I'll get the same thing for any x I choose here, but much simpler. Alright, let me do one more. I'm going to add a new thing. I'm going to add some x squared to it this time. So let's simplify this expression. 4x squared minus 3x plus 2 minus 2x plus x squared. So to remind you of my steps, first thing I'm going to do is change all my subtraction signs with add the opposite. I never, I'm going to get really confused if I try to leave subtraction signs in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I got 4x squared. I see a subtraction. So I'm going to add the opposite, plus 2. Here's another one. So add the opposite, plus x squared. All right, so that's the first thing I do. Now I'm going to go build it. 4x squared, negative 3x. So I'm going to do x squared are these biggies. 1, 2, 3, whoops, not that one, 4 plus negative 3x, 1, 2, 3, plus 2, plus negative 2x, plus 2, plus negative 2x, and plus x squared, one more x squared, all right? So now I've got it here. What I want to do now is rearrange so things are together. Like I'd like to put these together, and I'd like to put these together. So what I did there was just use the commutative property. I just changed the order I'm going to add in. So step two, commutative property. So what I did is I put my x squareds together, the 4x squared and the other x squared were over on the left. Then I had my 2, And then I had all my negative x's, negative 2x and negative 3x. And I did that because now these are all, look how easy it is to combine. Right, I don't even have to make any zero pairs. I have five of these, two of these, and five of these. So these are called like terms. And these are called like terms. The two didn't have any like terms. It was just kind of... It was on its own. So when I combined those, I had 5x squared, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I had 5 negative x's. Which we write as negative 5x rather than 5 negative x. And that is a much simpler version than I started with. Last step is combine like, whoops, terms. Okay, open your notebook. Let's do one together. I'm going to simplify this expression. I did a's instead of x's just so you don't get the idea that everything has to be an x. So here's what I want you to do. Write this down. And the first thing we're going to do is add the opposite. You really have to be careful with those subtraction signs. They can really mess you up. So I'm just going to do 2a plus 4 minus add the opposite 
plus 6a squared. Add. Oh, I didn't even do that right. Did you catch me? I just did the opposite, so make sure you catch me there. Add the opposite. And here again, add the opposite plus a. Okay. So now I've got no subtraction, so I'm less likely to mess up. So the next thing I want you to do is draw this. So I'm going to pause now and build it on here. Except I need a new screen. And I'm going to unpause and it's all going to be there. So I would pause the video, draw your blocks, and you can unpause when you're ready. All right, so here I think is my visual. Let me make sure. 2a plus 4. Got it plus negative 3a squared, plus positive 6a squared. Got it, got it. Plus negative 6 plus a, negative 6 plus a. Looks good. So the next thing I would want to do when I had these blocks is to rearrange them so that like terms are together. Already my x squareds are all together here in the middle. But it'd be great for me if like my numbers were over here. And my x's were over here. So I just did the commutative property. Put x's, then x squareds, then 1's. doesn't matter what order those are in necessarily. And so my next step is commutative property. And I just showed it to you. So now let me do it. Um, so let's see. I had, after I did it, 2a plus a. Then these I didn't move. And then my number is over there, negative 6 plus 4. All right. So in the commutative property, I did that. And the reason I did that is these are like terms. These are like terms, and these are like terms, They're kind of like things that are the same type go together. So my last step, all I've got to do is combine like terms. I'm just going to take those things I put together and combine them. Easy to visual, the 2a and the other a made 3a. The negative 3a squares and the positive 6a squares, I'll have some zero pairs, right? Three zero pairs. And after I make the zero pairs, I've got one, two, three left. Right, that's from here. Negative 3 plus 6 made 3 positive a. And then negative 6 plus 4, you know without the blocks, probably at this point is negative 2. If you want to see the zero pairs, one, two, three, four zero pairs, and I have negative two left. So this is a simplified version of this. If you were to pick any A and say, let's imagine A is two, and check it up here, which is a lot of work, you'd get the exact same thing as if you checked it down here, which would only be a little work. If you said, ah, I want to see what if A is negative 10, and you put it in for every A and checked it, you'd get the same thing down here. They're, they're equivalent expressions. No matter what you pick for A, they're going to match. Okay? So that's how you simplify a very complicated looking expression. Um, this is a tough topic, and I, you know, in a non-accelerated class, I probably would have shown this over the course of two or three different lessons. So I got a lot in there in one lesson. If you need to go back and watch either of these three examples again, please, 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 please do. This was, a, I feel like, a big lesson. Um, if you feel like you got it, hopefully the you do together and you do alone will be enough to kind of shore it up and finish the job. So I'll see you for that tomorrow.